Hi guys, welcome back to Merch Spot Manager. <clears throat> we are here with our new series. Oh, it's a frog in my throat. New series, new team, Enigma Racing. And we also are in e, the Formula E series. Now, one thing I didn't do yet in the series so far is check out the standings. So, as we can see, in Formula E, there are 10 teams. We've got Techie Tar, Panasonic Jaguar Racing, Venturi, Renault E Dams, E Dams, don't know, I don't know, maybe it's Adams, I don't know. Next to Neo Mahindra Racing, Audi Sport Ad Schaeffler, DS Automobiles Virgin Racing, and BMW Motorsport. Now, BMW Motorsport are the top team at the minute, and they have friends and Felix da Costa as their drivers. Um, DS Automobiles or Virgin Racing do have the fastest driver in Maria Lopez. Now, our guys aren't doing the worst. They're not bottom. So, yeah. That's what I thought I'd, be, I thought I'd just show you that real quick. Um, we will check these from time to time. See how things are going. And, yeah. I've, I've had a bit of a plan as well. A bit of a brainwave with regards to designing these new parts. Now, I'm sure it's the way that normal people do this. Um, I'm still relatively new to this series. Uh, to the series. To the game, even. So for me, it weren't really the forefoot in my mind. Now, obviously, to get to decent parts, we have to make shit parts. Now, those shit parts are still better than our standard parts. So my plan is now, going forward, when we're making a new part, is just to use reliability. Because then we can just go ahead and fit those parts straight away. That is the intention. I think that makes sense. I think that's perfectly, you know, sensible thing to do. But if not, do let me know, of course. We're going to improve some parts now, though. We're going to take the reliability away. I think that engine's going to be reliable enough. I think that suspension's going to be reliable enough. Ooh, more burps. And we're going to go into performance. Now, we're going to get the performance on both of these suspension parts. Not really looking at getting new suspension this season. I think we're going to focus on the engine. Mostly because that's the part we can improve the most. But we're going to get straight into this first race here. First race, the only race of this episode, even, in Munich. Now... We're still not expecting big things. We know that. We're not expecting big things. We're not expecting, you know, podium finishes or anything like that. We are a shit team. We've got shit drivers, and I still haven't been able to find anyone to replace yet. Um, we have decent stuff, but we have shit cars. So if you have shit cars and shit drivers, usually means that you're going to do shit. Um, so, yeah. But I've, I've got one thing that may help us out for next season, and it's up here. You, you, you may, oh, fuck it. I'll tell you. I was going to play it by ear, but I know what happened. I know what happened. Um, I'll go. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, do this. I'll tell you later on, and then I forget to tell you. So basically, the plan is, and I've forgotten what I was talking about now. <laughs> um. Oh fuck me! What was it? I? I see. I've already lost it. I've already lost it. As, as how bad things are. Um, I think the idea... I think... What was it? Tangents, ladies and gentlemen. Tangents. That's what happens. That's what happens. Um, I do know that we're going to start building illegal parts toward the end of the season and not using them and letting them carry over. But... That's just one of those things. So what else can we do here? If we get into downforce... Not ground force, by the way. It's just a, that's a very old, terrible, terrible program. With far too much in the way of uh, braless women. The braless women sounds like a good thing, but in the sense of ground force, not so much. Not so much. There was only one, and she weren't really anything special at all. So, tyre choice. I'm going to go with the mediums. Now, I like my medium tyres. I like being able to sort of dry for long periods of time without having to pull guys in. Um, so we're going to get knowledge on the medium tyres. Let's get both of these fuckers out. Let's get this smashed up to full. We know what kind of strategy we do. It is the heavy on the overtake and attack. Because remember, this is just practice. It's a 15 minute practice. And that's just reminded me, actually. That's what we're going to do the vote on. So this season's got a vote saying they want to give points only to the top six drivers. Now, the thing I want to do, because we will get offered a chance to vote, I want to change up how refueling happens in this and that will help us out next season massively because then I can push the engines as hard as I fucking can 
and we should start doing better. Um, obviously, we're not going to pick up points because we're not going to be in the top six. That's obviously if that one goes through. Uh, it may ne it may not necessarily go through. It might get vetoed. Um, we'll start getting you, you know, start getting Gomez in. So I would say it might might get vetoed, so we might need to not not to worry about it. But I do want to look at like the refueling thing, get us down to twenty percent fuel engines, maybe. We've got poor across the board. That's not good. Uh, let's get you back on a twelve stint. Same tyres again. So, as we can see, we're sort, of, we're sort of sitting in the middle of these. Not so much with the downforce, but kind of sitting in the middle. So we want to maybe... She said she wanted the steering to be loosened up a little bit, I believe. So because it was a poor, we're going to make a big difference. I think that may be for the top speed. And with the downforce, obviously these are going to get adjusted anyway. Um, we'll go towards that end on the downforce. And like that. So we're quite away now. We've, we've pulled away from that initial starter point. So hopefully we'll get we'll get engaged. Now one thing, one or two things going to happen. So I'm going to go very very poor across the board. So it'll be like really red, uh, angry face, or we're going to start seeing smiles. Now if we see, see angry faces, we go back the other way, about the same distance on the other side of that white check. So that is how I do it. Friends with the fastest lap. He's is the top man at the minute. So Anthony's happy to downforce. We're going to bring Anthony in on this lap. We do get level 1 for race trim and medium tyres when I finish saying this. There we go, see? Knowledge unlocked. Um, Steve Buscemi. Oh, it's not. It's, it's Buemi. Uh, looks like S. Buemi. S. Buscemi. I don't know. We're going to get Anthony in. Have a look at her setup. Excellent, excellent, very poor. Now... Obviously, we don't want to fuck around too much if we've got two excellence, but that poor needs to be sorted out. So, we've gone as far up this way as we can, so I'm hoping that that will do the fucking job. And then, if it doesn't, it's got to be up here somewhere. I'm a little bit knackered. I've got ways to deal with it, don't worry. I've got ways of dealing with it. I would just not want to deal with it that way, because um, it means a lot of fannying about, and I like fanny. I just don't like fannying about. That's just one of those things. Um, by the way, for the non-UK viewers, Fanny is vagina in the UK. I know it's bum or ass or ass or derriere in uh, in in the states and probably in Canada too, but it's not here. It's not here. Likewise, what you call a fanny pack, we call a bum bag. But yeah. So he Anthony's happy with the speed balance. So we're going to bring Gomez in first because we still need to fuck around. We're going to get level 2 very shortly for both the race trim and the uh, medium tyres. So, because we've got three-fifths of the qualifying done, we'll send Gomez out on qualifying trim, uh, qualifying practice, on qualifying trim and soft tyres. Uh, how does this weather look? It looks alright. So, we're going to get him in. We're going to send him out on a different trim, different tyres, hopefully. Very poor, excellent, very poor. So, we've got one thing right. Let's get this qualifying trim on. Get you on free laps and softs. So because the handling is fine, we know that we've got to send this the other way. So as you can look, so because we pulled them all one way, well, for you guys, I pulled it that way, we're going to have to push it that way now. So that's what we're going to look at. So if we keep handling exactly how it was. So where was that middle point? It was right there. Okay, so smash that down that way. Let's get you as far away as we can. Let's tweak that just a touch. I do. Send you out. Now, once those tweaks are done, we'll bring Anthony in, have a look at her, um, see how she feels about the setup, and if we need to change anything, we need to change anything. I'm going to keep her out on race trim and medium tyres, though. I don't think if. I don't think we're going to be able to make it otherwise. In fact, I'm, I'm worried we're not going to get level 3 now, looking at that. Should do, we should do, but a little bit worried. Let's get you on overtake and attack. Let's bring in Anthony. Where is Anthony? Anthony's just started another lap. That's a little bit disappointing. Um, by the way, guys, I know I drink a lot of beer on this channel. I don't, my wife will probably tell you I drink a lot of beer, but I don't really drink as much as some people. I might have one... <laughs> my wife just said, yeah, but those people are alcoholics. I, I might have one beer a night sometimes too um, it's just 
That's my way of relaxing. Sorry? No, 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 no. My wife said sometimes two at night, sometimes one. It is, it's more often that I'm just having like one than it is two. Anyway, car setup's looking fairly decent. We're going to have to go a little bit further into acceleration, I think, to get that. But excellent, excellent. So that everything else can stay the same. So as you can see, we're doing quite well with gauging. And hopefully, if you're, if you're watching this, hoping to play Motorsport Manager at some point, and you're not too sure about how to get those setups up uh, correct, hopefully seeing seeing that, me explaining uh, if I need to explain it in greater detail, then again, please do let me know. I can try my best there. Um, hopefully you guys seeing that is making life a bit easier. And yes, I did fuck up. We're not going to get level 3. Um, I probably should have just kept both drivers on what they were on. But... It was a risk I was willing to take. We're not going to get much out of um, the extra 5%. We're still going to finish bottom four, basically. Um, but, it's, you know. But, yeah, if you're if you're watching this and you're learning about how to set these up, or you're having difficulty setting it up, maybe you want me to explain it in greater detail, then please do let me know. I can do. I can do. As much as I know about it, you know. I'm no expert at Motorsport Manager. I would like to say I'm pretty good at Motorsport Manager. You know, I'm reasonably good. But I'm no expert. Um, apparently, according to Martin Haven, we're going to have a good weekend. And so and Jonathan Edwards says the same. Because apparently, Jonathan Edwards is a big motorsport uh, journalist. You know, Jonathan Edwards, the triple jumper. He's an expert on us. He's an expert on us. So, it's looking a little bit overcast, but I don't think it's going to rain. So let's get some knowledge on. Let's get some medium tyres, because that's all we can fucking do. We're not going to use mediums. We're going to be going softs. That's just how things are. So we've got excellent, excellent, good, and we've got excellent across the board there. I would like to make this excellent, if possible. I feel like that may do it. So we're going to go out on the soft, as I say. Let's have a look at this setup. We're at 99%. I'm not going to tweak it any further. There is no point in trying to tweak it any further. It'll probably fuck it completely. So let's get qualifying out on the go. Send you straight out. No fucking around. No dicking around. Let's get you going. Same for you. I don't mind how qualifying works here, actually. Um, oh, shit. Auto. Auto. I don't mind the one big session. Um, part of me quite likes the three, the three sort of stages, but... By that same token, that means we can get these videos out quicker. We've got a 15-minute practice session. I'd prefer 12. I can get my tweaks done, really, in, in that time. Um, it was only a couple of little bits we needed to sort out, to be fair. Oh, we've got a good and perfect. That's good. And a perfect and cold. Not so good. Getting temperature perfect is a bit... What? This was rare. Um, so, what was I fucking saying? You know what? I went off into tangent. I can't remember what I was saying. It will come back to me eventually come back to me eventually. You'll find, if you're watching my channel for the first time, uh, you'll find that occasionally I do go off on a tangent. Uh, sometimes I go off on a little rant. Um, and if I forget what I was talking about, then please do. Just sort of let me know in the comments. And I'll try to address it again at some point. <laughs> Maybe just in the comments. Um, so Anthony had, I mean obviously I know these guys are sort of pushing us down the table, but Anthony had a very good lap, really. When you see how, I mean, she's been Gutierrez. That's something. I mean, it's the only person. She, well, apart from Gomez, she's beating Gomez too. But you know, it's sort of get, get, people are getting pushed down here. And we're still like <laughs> 18th, but you know, we're doing all, we're doing all, we're doing all right. So, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I can get most of my tweaks done. That was it. <laughs> Came back to me. See, get most of my tweaks done in the 12 minutes. Um, and we've got excellent, excellent, excellent. So we've got six excellence. That is, um, I want to say excellent, but. I feel like seven excellence is a little bit too much. But, um, I'll get my tweaks done in that, but it does, I say, bring the length of the episode down, which is always a bonus, too. Um, not because I don't like, I love recording, to be honest. I, I quite like, I quite enjoy doing the recording. I'm not very good at it. I'm trying to improve. Um, and I would love some feedback, guys, in the comments. Tell me how to improve. I'm still saying it. You know, I, I would love to know how to improve. I know that, obviously, 
getting some better equipment would be a thing, but that's not really a viable option for me right at this moment in time. Um, but maybe just like my commentary style, how much I engage with the camera, how much I talk about the actual game itself. Do let me know. And obviously, I know I'm not talking about the game itself right at this point because I'm talking to you guys about how I need to improve that talking about the game. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. Can we get a faster lap? No, we fucking can't. Still, 20th and 18th is better than 20th and 19th, isn't it? I mean, done a little bit better than I thought we were going to do. So there is that. Steve Buscemi, he gets uh, pole position. And, uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's get into this race. Let's finish last. We're going to finish last by quite a fucking way, we know. I think we weren't, Enigma Racing weren't quite at it today. Sorry, Karen. Doe. Uh, no one else saying anything? Nope. Let's get on to this race. I was hoping it was going to rain in Munich, actually. Never mind. Let's get some medium tyres and racing trim on the go. For both drivers, that is. Because that's all they've got. Excellence across the board. Always good to see. I do like having excellence across the board. Now, let's have a look at this tyre choice. So, we've got 32 laps. We can get 14 to 16 out of that. We could, theoretically, if we play it correctly, get a one-stopper. Now, doing a one-stopper may help us massively. I don't think we're going to be able to do a one-stopper. We'd have to really conserve on those tyres. But we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll get Gomez out on a one-stopper. How many laps can you get out of these? 8 to 10, 12 to 14. She's going to be a two-stopper at least. Um, it's 10% would be a quarter of a star on the speed, wouldn't it? We'll get you on soft, girl. We'll get you on soft. That's what we're going to do. We're going to send these guys out like this. So, driving style, conserve, engine style, medium. I know it's different for us, but that's how it's going to be. And we're going to keep you on a medium there. So, Buemi, Bird, Prost, Lopez, and Abd in the top five positions there. What can we do? Obviously, I say with Gomez, he's going to fall back a long way. But I'm hoping, doing the one stop, hopefully, means he'll be able to get on better with some positions. He's really starting to push along, actually, even though he's going to conserve. I mean, he's going to fall back instantaneously, really. I mean, that's just how it is. He's in 15th, though. That's not bad. Anthony just pushed up a couple of positions, and Gomez has dropped down to 16th. There's a little bit of back and forth there. We know they're going to drop off. It's, it's just how this race is going to be. Um... Gomez back down to 19th. He's going to lose out. He's down to 20th. I know that. So let's go to Anthony. Anthony being the better driver. She's now up to 14th. I say the better driver. They're both as shit as each other. Um, but she seems to be doing better in this race so far. So she's up in 14th. She's pushing these tyres a bit hard. We're going to get her to go to neutral on those tyres. That's part of the reason why she's pushing so much. Uh, we're going to get you to go neutral now, Gomez. Just so we can, you know, as you say, get a bit of heat into those tyres. A bit more grip. Um... A bit more grip, a bit more speed, you know. All good things, all good things. Uh, Anthony's still in 15th. She did drop a position uh, to Heidfeld. She's going to drop another position now to Carroll. Probably another position here to Vern as well. But we've been talking about this. Gomez has gone up a position. We've been talking about this. We know that this season, the first season, it's going to be a little bit of a consolidation season. And I keep mentioning it as well. Um, because we're not going to be able to do much with what we've got unless we can get some new drivers in once we get some new drivers in things may change a little bit we may actually start to get some you know mid-team positions like 14th and 15th sometimes it is just having decent drivers and to be honest although drivers are a more expensive thing long term short term we can do that it's a quick quick fix it's just finding the right drivers that will join us I may just take a risky punt on a driver, uh, on a driver, on a driver. Sort of look at roughly at their skill set and work it out. Uh, got a yellow flag, no overtaking sector one. We are in sector one at this moment in time, so there's no overtaking, please, ladies and gentlemen. Felix da Costa has crashed, which means we don't finish last. Always good to see. Um, Gomez up into 18th, thanks to that crash, and Anthony up into 15th, thanks to that crash. Can we get like three more crashes? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, not nice, but you know. I don't want the drivers to be hurt, but if we can get a few more crashes. Anthony with a lovely... Did you see that manoeuvre there for Anthony? Two manoeuvres by Anthony. Gaining two positions there. Beautiful work. Beautiful driving. 
She's going to lose one here again, but she's going to lose two by the looks of it. No, no, she managed to hold it. Let's have a look at Gomez. Gomez is a little bit unloved at the minute, isn't he? How are we doing, Go? And those tyres doing for you? 76%. Need to make them last a little bit better than that, mate. Okay, you're going to go conserve on those tyres. We'll let you push your engine a little bit more, though, okay? Just for a little bit. Same for you, Anthony. You can push your engine just a little bit, okay? Let's go back, Anthony. Let's, let's have a look. How is she doing? I mean, she's having she's having a bit of a storming race, to be fair. I mean, she's going to end up having to do a lot of um, a, a lot of pit stops, at least three, I think, with her. But um, yeah, she's having a stonking race, absolutely stonking race, and that's always good to see. Still need a haircut, by looks things, but you know, I'll get it done at some point. She is struggling, struggling. Sorry, she's challenging for twelfth there. Who's in twelfth? Heidfeld. I like to see our, our drivers challenging positions when they're that shit. It's, it is good. I'm going to get Gomez to pull back on that fuel a little bit. Anthony, however. Go for it, Anthony. You go, go for it. Let's attack. When we attack, attack, attack. Oh, by the way, I love System of a Down. Not listening to him for a little while. I might have to listen to him like, later this week. When I get the opportunity to. If you couldn't tell that was System of a Down. I can't sing for shit. Not, not like System of a Down are sort of notorious for their singing ability, but you know. Right, let's go back down to a medium and neutral. We didn't really gain anything there apart from a bit of tire wear and some lost fuel. So we need to be able to get back. We need to get ourselves back on the green with our fuel. Um, I think Anthony's probably going to have to pit on this lap because of her tires. How many laps remaining? Twenty-five. So we can probably get two more stops on these tires. Should be a bit slower, but it's worth doing. I feel uh, everything else can stay the same there. Should we take it fast or should we just take? It doesn't matter what she does, she'll be out behind Andre Gomez. So we're just going to go with a balanced pit stop. So we'll get her to go attacking on these tyres, just for this last couple of corners. It doesn't really matter. They're going to burn. She's going to burn through these tyres. It's just trying to make sure, make sure, maintain a little bit of uh, a bit of a push. Comes out in nineteenth. Good pit though. Hello. Um, apparently the newest Windows feature update is here. And it's ready to install. Do you want to restart now? Not really, Windows. I'm kind of busy. Can we pick a time? Um, sorry, guys. It's always good to see Windows turn up and fuck your day up. Pick a time. 9.51pm? No, don't really fancy that. How about half ten? Okay. I might still be awake then. Today? Yeah, okay. I was hoping to get like, at least a bit of a bit more out, but never mind. I might actually just go back into that setting and just cancel that and have it done tomorrow. Um, Gomez in 18th, obviously anti in 19th, so we are technically the last two places, but Felix da Costa did crash. Gomez is doing alright in these tyres. Like I said, we need to get him to at least lap 16 on these tyres. At the minute, he looks like he's going to get there. Um, so, that's always good. No one else has pitted yet. We know that Carroll is going to pit soon. If you look at his tyre wear, he's going to have to come in for tyres. Um, in fact, I think he has now, by the looks of things, he has. So I don't think Gomez is going to get ahead of him, because tyres aren't a big thing to f like the fix. Gomez did manage just pull ahead of him. It'll only be for a few seconds, and then Carroll will gain that position back. Um, who else do you need to pit? Vern is going to have to pit very shortly. Prost. Buemi. Um, and this is one of the issues I have with the refueling, is that they don't stay in the pits that long. Tyres don't take that long to change. Um... And at this point in the season, everyone's reliability, part reliability, will be greatly increased. Um, we'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. Friends has taken the lead, apparently. Abs dropping down a position. Almost three seconds behind Friends or Friends or Frisnes. Behind Frisnes. It's not Frisnes. It's Friends or Friends. I think it's Friends. Let me know in the comments if you're Dutch. It might be Dutch. Name my friends. It sounds Dutch. The way it's spelled, it looks Dutch. I might be wrong altogether. Notice how I said Dutch. Although that's not that's not the issue, is it? By the way, guys, it's the Netherlands, not Holland. Holland is a region or a province in the Netherlands. A lot of people get that wrong, and I've said it to a few people before, and I've had Dutch people have a go at me about it before. So yeah, don't ever say that to a Dutchman or a Dutch woman or a Frisian cow, because Frisia is not part. What well, is it part of? Is it part of the Netherlands, Frisia? Might be. I don't know. Could be. I don't think it is, but it could be. 
So we're going to get Gomez to push a little bit more. Um, maybe not on the tyres, just on the fuel a little bit. Still a little bit worried about those tyres lasting. Um, Anthony's back on to sort of even fuel. I'm worried about those tyres still there. She's down 75% already. Engel's kind of going into the pit. We can see that. If you look um, at 14th, it's got that green circle with the little sort of square in the middle of it. That means they're going to pit. So if you see that, we know it's uh, they're going to but they're going to pit. And obviously, you can see the driver strategies here for each guy. Always nice to see. Gomez has gone up into 14th thanks to those pits. He hasn't had to pit yet. 13th, Evans is going to have to pit. Anthony's up into 16th. Still ahead of Carroll somehow. There's, there's hardly any any time between it. Let's go to, to Anthony. As you can see, Carroll right on the tail. Right on the tail. My wife has just informed me that Friesian cows are Dutch, which means that... So Friesland, is Friesland part of Holland? Well, not Holland, but part of the Netherlands even? Fair. There we go. So Friesian cows, they are Dutch. There we go then. I thought it was the case. 100% sure. I know Holsteins aren't. Holsteins are Danish. Talk, why are we talking about cows in the middle of motorsport manager? Holsteins are German. You sure? I thought it was the part of Denmark. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. My wife's telling me that Holstein might be part of Germany. Um, I thought it was in Denmark. It was definitely Danish at some point. I know that much. Gomez up in the 10th. It means we've got... Swiss? That's not right. I don't know about that. I don't think that's right. I might be wrong. Or am I thinking of a different thing altogether? Uh, oh, no, no, don't worry. I, I, yeah, it's Swiss. Don't worry. I'm thinking of a different thing altogether. Don't ask me what I'm thinking about, guys. Don't ask me what I'm thinking about. I was thinking about the Hansa. I don't know how I managed to get Hansa and Holstein mixed up. Don't fucking ask. If you've never heard of Hansa, then don't worry about it too much. So how is Anthony? Anthony's in 13th. Still slightly ahead of Carroll, actually. Gomez holding in 9th. But he hasn't pitted yet. He's going to have to pit. But everyone else has pitted at least once. We need Gomez to go possibly one more lap. Let's get, let's get him pitted. Let's go for a fast pit. Because, well, we're actually doing all right with Gomez. It's, it's worth the risk. I'm going to get you to come back on your fuel, though. You're starting to burn through it a little bit too much for my liking. Um... Anthony, 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 can we get you to push a little bit on your fuel? I want you to try to open a little bit of a gap up between you and Carol. It's not going to happen, but if we can stay ahead of a few of these guys, I'll be very, very happy. How is Gomez's pit going? That's a good pit, and Gomez comes out in 18th, unfortunately. But he has only pitted once. He only has to pit the once. So if he carries on the way he is, and we get that same sort of, like positioning at the end where he was ninth, I'd be very, very fucking pleased. Anthony up into 12th, obviously, because he overtook, she overtook uh, Gomez. So, we're still going to carry on pushing the fuel a little bit. I don't want to push Gomez's fuel yet. So, obviously, he needs to recover, and we need to make sure we've got enough fuel to finish the race. Faith Anthony has set a new personal best sector too. That's nice to see. That is nice to see. Can we get anything else out, though, Anthony? Please. You know, I would like to get a top 10 finish. Having a top 10 finish or even, will give us some points, which means we'll come off bottom. Now, if we don't finish bottom, we get more money at the end of the season. Prize money. That's just that's obvious, isn't it? Um, but that would, that would be a big fucking boon for us going into next season, looking to sort of create a better team for next season. We're going to have to get Anthony to dip back on a fuel. She's starting to sort of eat into it a bit too much. Back back neutral. She was back neutral. Uh, it does mean Carol will probably take our position. Engel will probably end up taking our position as well, but these are all things we have to do to make sure that we actually finish the race, you know. You want to pitch for, pit for fresh tyres. Actually, we better get you in on this lap for fresh tyres. There are 15 laps remaining. 12 to 14, 8 to 10. Oh, fuck me, Anthony. Where are you? Yeah, we need to, we need to come in for fresh tyres. Fourteen laps. We'll have to get her to. Uh, 
Gonna have to. We're gonna have to. So I think that part is gonna break before the end of it with the amount of tires, amount of tires, amount of laps there is left to go. Um, so Anthony's gonna have to come in to pit. We'll get her to attack on these tires while she does that. Um, unfortunately, we are then gonna have to go conserve on the tires to actually get her through to the end of the race. I don't want to have to pit her again. Um, it's just how I. I I only wanted to do two pit stops of her if I could. Well, obviously, with Gomez, I wanted to just do the one. So, Gomez up to 17th. Now she's taken over Anthony. Anthony will drop down. Oh, sorry, she won't drop down to 19th because Vern has gone into pit as well. So, Anthony stays in 18th there. Well, for now, anyway, there's a mistake. Does come out ahead of Vern, though. How many seconds difference is there? Faith Anthony just got blue flagged. Vern is still in the pit. Is still in the pit, so hopefully that'll be that'll be good for us. Vern is going to be a long way behind, like the best part of fifty seconds behind Anthony. Now that that if Anthony manages to maintain the the tire level, which if we go on back up, she will, then we could see not bottom again, which would be nice. <laughs> Except this time with not bottom, they will actually be you know someone below us, which would be. Yeah, you know, it's, it's 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 little gains. It's little gains. That's all it is, you know. So Gomez up in the sixteenth has gained a position. Who ahead of us is going to have to pit? So Saracen's going to have to pit at some point. So is PK Junior. Heidfeld is definitely going to have to pit. How much? There's a big old gap between us. Say like forty seconds. If he's coming in just for tires, we're not going to close that gap. Um, I feel like a lot of these guys will come in for tires before we do. Well, obviously, we're going to see it out on the set of tires we've got. Um. That, that is the intention there. Uh, don't worry about the tyre temps. I worry about the tyre temps. I need you to do two more laps on blue. And then we'll change you up to green. You know, go a bit mad. So Gomez is holding 16th for now. That's not that's not a bad thing, to be honest. It really isn't. Going to get blue flagged, though. Um, Frin's right on the tail. There we go. Blue flag has to slow down. That's not ideal. But hopefully, if Gomez can pull his finger out, everyone else get blue flagged. So who's in? Prost is in the pit. Can we take advantage of this and gain a position? We can. Up into 15th. With 7 second gap. It's always good. It's always good. So Gomez, you need to push a bit harder, mate. I need you to catch up. I mean, Gutierrez is going to have to pick, uh, pit soon. And Evans. Turvey, Engel, Pico Jr., Sarazen, Heidfeld. I mean... Everyone above this sponsorship objective, I can't see us catching. But we can get 11th. We won't get any points for 11th. But if we can get 11th, that'll be a nice big sort of boost for us. It really will be. It'll be a big marketability boost as well. And we still have a sponsorship slot available. And that is the fish tank light turning on. Um, that's what a sudden sort of... That is not God turning up next to me and giving me advice. That is um, the fish tank. So, or the aquarium, if you will. Fish tank aquarium, pretty much the same thing. A fish, well, saying that fish tank, can you imagine a fish tank, you know, with a big fucking cannon on the front of it? That'd be different, wouldn't it? Um, we're gonna keep, oh, saying that, we can give Gomez the opportunity to, he got blue flags again, but we can give him the opportunity to go a little bit harder, especially now that uh, he's got someone on his tail. Let's go neutral on these tyres. That is Carol on his tail, and by the looks of things, Prost as well. Not good. Who have we just taken now? We've just gone past Evans. I think Carol will probably have to pit before the end of the race. I mean, what's there? Seven laps to go. We've dropped down to 16th. I mean, I'm not too not too worried. Evans is still behind us. I'm, I know that there's going to be drivers pitting soon. Like, Gutierrez is fucking knackered with his tyres. And we're only, like, five seconds behind him. That's, an, that's long enough time to get ahead of him. Uh, Turvey, we're not going to get to. Turvey is coming around the final bend. He's going to go into the pit, I'm sure. Apparently not. Just completely fucking ignored the pit. How are these tyres looking? We've got seven laps left to go. These tyres. Gutierrez is in the pit. Alright, I need you to come back on that fuel again. And probably conserve tyres again. I'm going to keep Anthony on that push. We're going to get her to go neutral on the tyres now. I want her to just start, you know, getting ahead a bit more. Try and maybe get a position. I don't think it's going to happen. Turvey's going to have to pit soon. Come on. And Engel. So we've got Turvey is here. Doesn't go into the pit. Who isn't? Oh no, Engel did go into the pit. Engel went into the pit, but not Turvey. Surprisingly. Can we get ahead? 
We can. So Gomez up in the 14th. Obviously, Anthony's so far off the boil, virtually not going to get anywhere near. Uh, which is a little bit disappointing, considering how well Anthony was racing to begin with. Um, Gomez is going to get blue flagged again. Who's ahead of us still? So, I, I don't know if Carroll's going to come in. Turvey will. Turvey up in the 11th. 11th is here on the map, as you can see. So if we keep an eye on Turvey, we can see that he's come around that final corner and has come into pit. And so is Buemi. Now, I don't think we're going to get ahead of Buemi, but we may be able to get ahead of Turvey up into 13th. We do. Lovely. Who else ahead of us? So Carroll may pit. I don't think he's going to want to, but he may pit. And I think that's probably going to be the only person ahead of us who will. So we may be able to get one more position. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go push a little bit on this engine. You can stay as you are. You're up into 17th, actually. You got ahead of Turvey as well. Turvey struggled for some, with something for whatever reason. We're going to get you to push on those tyres a little bit as well. I think you've got enough about you with your tyres to see it through, to be fair. Um... I might be wrong. If I have to come back on those tyres a little bit, I will. But I would like to see her maintain 17th, not finish 18th or 19th. Gomez in 12th. That is good to see. Um, which means that... It's not back down to 13th. Engel getting a straight pass again. It was Engel who went in, wasn't it? I believe it was. Uh, let's carry on. We've got f fucking... Evans right on our tail now. I don't want to push too hard. I mean, we, we need the fuel. We haven't got the tyres to do this. I, we just need to try and maintain that position. Should have enough here with Anthony. I'm going to have to pull back. No, we're not going to pull back yet. Um, got three laps remaining. Should be okay on the tyres for Gomez. We need to conserve these tyres. We need to finish. I don't want to lose out 13th to uh, Evans, but I feel like we're going to have to, just to finish. Um, 18th now, Anthony. She did lose out to Turvey, but we have pulled back on her uh, driving style just a touch. That we're going to have to do it to the uh, engine mode as well. A little bit disappointing, but I wasn't expecting anything out of this race, so me saying this is a little bit disappointing, this isn't actually disappointing at all. Gomez is getting... Gomez should, anyway, get quite a decent finish. I mean, if you look at Gutierrez, Gutierrez is 8 seconds behind. So, oh, don't worry about the parts, mate. Don't worry about the parts. Ooh, I'll say that. Don't worry about the parts. The, the, the parts are fine. Don't worry about the parts. They're fine. They'll be fine, mate. They'll be fine. Uh, another blue flag for Gomez. We're going to get you to just go to overtake mode. Try and pull away a little bit from, uh, from old Evans there. N no, we're not going to pit for fresh tyres soon. What is the fucking point when there's only like a lap and a half left? So, how are we looking on this fuel? We're going to go pushing again, just to try and see this out. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Just got to keep an eye on that. So we can get you, probably, to go push and high for a bit. Just trying to keep an eye on this little green ticker here. So this little green ticker here means we've got nearly a half lap's worth of fuel, more than we need. I just don't want it to go into the red. If we go into the red, it means we're going to run out of fuel. If we run out of fuel, we're definitely going to lose a lot of positions. Um... Especially when you consider now that the gap between us and Hutierrez has dropped down to five seconds. Um, his tyres are struggling, his tyres are struggling. Got enough to see it out though. Let's go and into that just to finish off. So Gomez in the 13th, that's our best finish this season. That is nice to see. Let's get you overtaking and attack. Doesn't matter, it's not going to gain any more positions, it's not going to lose any, but it just be nice to give it everything. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Anthony. We really do need to be doing better than this. But unfortunately, with drivers like you, we're not going to be able to. Is that slander? Don't fucking care if it is. So, Friends or Friends or Friends does win. Um, six and a half seconds ahead of second place. And 18 and a half seconds ahead of third. That is ridiculous. That is utterly ridiculous. We're not, we can't challenge that. Not in a minute, anyway. Give it a season or two. It's going to be a long haul. We know that. We know that. I said at the start that this particular league is a fucking challenge. And it is. So we were off target. Weren't expecting anything else. Um, Sam Bird actually got the fastest lap there. But Gomez up into 15th. Anthony down at 20th. We're still 10th on the board. Not a lot we can do about that. 
didn't finish 10th there, though. I know we need a better driver than Faith Anthony. Uh, Francolino Rodriguez. Um, Karen Dow. Nick Moration weren't quite out of state. I know, I know. She, sh she shit. Um, not, really much, not really much I can do about it until we find a better driver. That is the issue, is finding the better driver. And at the minute, can't find one. Can't find one. Hmm. Hmm. Really, I might just have a look. To be fair, I mean, our scouting facility should be nearly done, which means we should be able to scout faster. Um, and on top of that, it means we'll have more drivers available to us to see. I keep putting my hand in front of my face. I shouldn't really. I know I shouldn't. We came eighth in that race. Woo! Yeah! Eighth. It's like a participation medal, isn't it? So, Chairman's Happiness has gone up by 16%. Mark's Ability has gone up by 0.67%. Got a new unlock. Relationship unlock. Green sweet spot and qualifying is bigger, giving the driver a better chance of optimize. That is kind of helpful. That is kind of helpful. Still don't want her, but that is very helpful, actually. 1.3 million down the drain in that race. Fuck. A duck. Don't. Actually, no. I've mentioned that one before, and your tiny cock wouldn't hurt a duck. Um, you might not have a cock. I don't know. So, how long we've got left with the HQ with regards to... So, Scout Facility's got one week, which is helpful. Factory level 2, nine weeks. Design Center level 2 in 13 weeks. I'm, I'm happy with all of those. That's not not too far away. So, I've always got time for Aaron Andrews. Had some time to get used to the team now. What are your main worries at the minute? Really need to improve our car performance. Definitely we'll upgrade in HQ. Drive lineup's weak. I don't have any worries to... Drive lineup is weak. I don't care if they're going to get a 10% morale decrease, but that is the issue. Andre Gomez has got some neck problems. He's got a dodgy neck, so he gets to wear this fun little uh, collar for a bit. Fair enough. Come on, we need to get some sponsors in this sponsorship slot. That one ends in one race time. This one ends in two, and the others end in five. But we should be able to then get some more money in. Be able to pull in a big chunk of money. Uh, car repair finished. Great. Don't care. Just... That's what your job is, isn't it? Scout facility has been built. Engine has been finished. Scouting on a driver has been finished. So let's get to... Andre Gomez is a gambling addict now, apparently. So that's always helpful. If you want to know what that is... Look. Focus minus 2, morale minus 20. Helio Castroneves. Okay. Helio Castroneves. Oh! He won't join us. No, nope. <laughs> but that is fucking amazing stats. Smoothness, smoothness is one of my favourite stats. Basically, with smoothness, it affects how much your tyres wear. So the higher the smoothest that is, the more more laps you can get out of your tyres. I quite like that. I think braking affects it as well, and cornering affects it. Feedback very very high. It would have been six, but obviously with I think with us it gets like a plus three. No, wait, no, with Chatty, his personality trait, Chatty, he gets a plus two. Shame we can't get him, but it's just how it is. So, we're still waiting for that to be finished, or has it been finished at this point? One day, so let's get this day out of the way, and then we can have a look, at maybe seeing what other drivers are available to us. Um, hopefully, get all your fingers crossed, all of them, and, and your toes all fingers are crossed and thumbs and toes and winky and we can find a decent pay driver scouting 10 shows you how quickly we just ton things there look so these guys got a little bit longer scouting slots we've got two more slots available there so let's have a look at these drivers now It has unlocked the ability to look at quite a few drivers. Daniel Abt is out of our out of our league, unfortunately. We're gonna to have to find someone who's semi decent. Oh fuck me. We're just gonna go have a scout at some drivers. Get some youngsters in. Youngsters are usually cheaper. I don't wanna click on twenty seven, that's not a youngster, is it? Um and I say this as a thirty one year old. Well a thirty year old, I'll be thirty one soon. Like a few months away, but still relatively soon, you know. Um Try and get a few of these guys scouted. There are a few more options available to us now. 15 year old, Sophia Florsch. So, if we highlight this guy, you can see now 
that his smoothness is like somewhere between 13 and 17, his feedback somewhere between 8 and 17. Um, it might be 13, it might be 17, it might be 8, it might be 17. You know, doesn't necessarily mean anything good. That's why we scout. But I might take a cheeky punt on one of these guys. We're not going to be able to get him. I mean, you can see his wages here, 884 grand. Definitely not going to be able to get him. Uh, Vera Verton. So, Vanina X. Not interested. Okay. Sophia Flourish. No. Sebastian Fernandez. 15. Smoothness is shit. The others look like they could be strong. I mean, if you look at his uh, fitness, feedback, focus, and um, consistency, they look like they could be quite strong. Uh, Ryan Norman. Nah. We know it's gonna. We can see what how much it's gonna cost anyway. Um, Patricia O'Ward. Patricio O'Ward. That's a really weird combination of names. Neil Berico. Natasha. Gang Chang, Dash Nang, I don't know. Max Deforni. See, now, if you look at his smoothness, that is just ridiculous. Can we actually... Let's approach. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yes. Equal status. I'm going to go with equal status. We're going to offer him a large contract. Now, as you can see, it does say up here, unknown driver unscoured. So it does mean we don't know too much about the guy. Um... What I do know is he's 17. He's got looks like he's going to have decent stats, especially with regards to smoothness, which I like. Um, probably going to be an improvement on what we've currently got, and we're going to offer him that. We'll see how that goes. I'm liking. I mean, breaking cornering consistency, all a bit shit, but overtaking is definitely going to be between 18 and 20. Smoothness between 19 and 20, and fitness between 13 and 17. We look at Faith Anthony, yeah, Andre Gomez. It's an improvement. That's all I can say. It's an improvement. New engine's been designed. Nice to see. Nice to see. Can we design a new part now, though? Yes! We've got that thing over there. Over there. So it does mean we're going to get another engine just as good. So we'll take the tops 40 to max. 15 plus 20 to max. And we'll take the reliability, actually. No, no, we won't. We'll take um, random good component. So, legendary is there. We can't unlock it. We can't use these ones here because we don't have the next level. But it does mean... I'm pretty sure... Now, don't quote me on this. I think it means basically we get two engines. I would take the £1.85 million knock for two engines. Trust me on this. Let's go to fit parts. We're not going to actually fit it yet because we know reliability is not going to be that great. So, new engine is going to be about the same level as this one. But, that's got tops plus 40 during qualifying. So, I mean, the other one with the random good component might be better than that. But I don't know yet. Uh, so, we're at 50. We're going we're gonna to go away from the performance increase now. As you know, we're not even going to worry about that. We're going to keep on these. We're not going to use that, that new engine. Until, we're going to wait, wait till these two new engines come in. And we're going to go with those. Um, when's the next vote? Four weeks for shorter practice sessions. Now, I will probably be abstaining from that vote. Um, I'll probably abstain from that vote. This one, I'm against. I'm very against that vote. Don't like that. I mean, we're struggling to get points now at the minute. If it's only going to be top six getting points, we're fucked. We are absolutely fucking shafted if that happens. Show. Show. Hello, my name is Sean Connery. Uh, let's go to staff. Let's drown. Let's go. Let's drive. Drivers. So Max DeForney details. Are we scouting him? Can we push him up the queue? Is there a way of pushing people up queues? Why are we scouting Sebastian Vell? We're not going to get Sebastian Vell. Max DeForney. We can't push you up the queue, can we? No, we can't. Okay. I mean, we could cancel all jobs and then scout him. But I feel like it's not worth it. Finish scouting on driver there. How long left on our HQ? Seven weeks to the next factory level. Having that second factory level is going to be a massive boon to us. Um, he wants to renegotiate. 
not happy with that. Okay, we'll go with medium. Everything else he's happy with. We're going to go with medium and a little bit more money on. Let's see how he feels about that one. Hopefully we can get this done before Tondela and use him. Not going to happen, though. Uh, financial management concerns. Yeah, I know, mate. I know. I know we're losing money. I know we're losing money, but part and parcel of life, unfortunately. See, now, D'Ambrosio isn't a bad driver, but it's not really... Now, the reason I've paused is because, okay, he's not much of a driver, but desired earnings minus 100,000 are still going to cost more than our current driver, so, well, fuck it off, fuck it off, don't you? not interested. Now, because we are starting this Fontella race, it's going to be the end of this episode. We know, that's, that's how I like to do things, you know that, but we've got some promising, uh, there you go. Staff is up to fourth because of the signings we made, uh, and third now on headquarters because of the scouting facility. Um, I'm I'm feeling like this race when we come to it is not going to be that great. But having these this new engine come through, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing if that is the case. If we get like two parts because of that, that is going to be absolutely fucking killer. That will be a massive boon to us. Does mean I'm probably going to end up just working on engines for the foreseeable future. But it is an absolute fucking boon, if that is the case. Um, if you did enjoy today's episode, then please, of course, do like and subscribe. Share it with your friends if you want. Check me out on Twitter. I talk bollocks on Twitter. I don't really tweet too much. But if you go on Twitter, you'll get notifications when the next video comes out, which is always nice. And I'm going to try and make sure that these, these videos for the Motorsport Manager series are daily. Um, so... It, it might not necessarily happen over the weekend. That's the only thing. I might might not do it over the weekend. It might be a weekday thing. I haven't fully decided yet. It may be that I push one out every day this week. See how it looks. Because I do have other series that I'm doing as well. do have a wife who feels a little bit ignored at times. And I, I, I do... You know, I, I do feel bad about it. I really do. I should give her more cuddles and kisses and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can get this out daily. If it looks like it's going to be a bit too tough, then I'll go back down to like weekdays. Um, but yeah, I'll see you when I see you guys. Take care.